Let's take a look at another functional equation. It is a shortlist problem of the International Mathematical Olympia 1989. Uh, so it says uh, let a is strictly between 0 and 1 be a real number and f continuous function on the closed interval 0 and 1 which satisfy f of 0 to be 0, f of 1 to be 1, and uh, uh, f evaluate x plus y all over 2 equals 1 minus a times f of x plus a times f of y. For every two real numbers, x and y, in the closed interval 0 and 1 such that x is smaller or equal to y, determine f of 1 over 7. So from the original equation, we know that uh, on the right hand side we have f of x and f of y, which means if we know x uh, f at this two number, uh, say x and y, then we can really find f of uh, x plus y over 2. Or in the other words, um, uh, from the original equation, it is provided uh, x or f of 0 and f of 1. So we can make use of these two number we can actually find f of one half and if we have f of zero f of one half we can actually find f of one fourth and also we can find f of three over four and we can also find f of one over eight so on and so forth which means uh, for any fractional number let's say m over m over n So as much as n is a uh, uh, power of 2 and m is a uh, integer number, so uh, we can we will be able to find uh, f of m over n easily. However, what we need to find is uh, f of 1 over 7, and 7 is not a power of 2. So we really need to see how we can find it. So from the original equation, we can simply substitute x to be 0. And as much as a y is between 0 and 1, so y must be larger or equal to, to x. So on the left-hand side, we have f of y over 2 should be uh, 1 minus a times f of 0 plus a times f of y. And we know f of 0 is 0, so uh, it should be a times f of y. So we have a f of y over 2 equals a times f of y. So this is a very in, uh, useful property. We can call it an equation 1. And also, in the original equation, uh, we can rewrite it as on the left side we simply copy it we have a f evaluate x plus y all over 2 and on the right side we have a 1 minus a times f of x plus a times f of y so we can make use of uh, equation 1 and we can simply multiply a and dy by a here. So this one uh, we can just substitute uh, y by x in equation 1. So we have a uh, 1 minus a over a is um, f of x over 2. And similarly this one a, a times f of y can be simply substituted by uh, f of y over 2. So for this equation, we can simply substitute x over 2 by s and y over 2 by t so that we have f of s plus t equals 1 minus a over a times f of s plus f of t. So we have uh, s is smaller and or equal to uh, to t and 
S and T should be between 0 and 1 half. Okay, so let's try to find f of 1 over 7. And as much as we know f of 1 over 8, let's try to subtract uh, 1 7 by 1 8 so that it should be 1 over 56. Or equivalently, we can write it as 1 over 56 plus 1 8 should be 1 7. Okay, so for this equation, we can call it equation 2. So in equation 2, we can substitute s to be 1 over 56, t to be 1 over 8. So um, on the left side, we have a f of uh, 1 over 56 plus 1 over 8, which is a 1 over 7 should be 1 minus a over a times f of 1 over 56 plus f of 1 over a. So now we can make use of uh, yeah, f of 1 to be 1 and also equation 1. Equation 1 and uh, f of 1 is 1. So we can have f of uh, 1 half to be a, a times f of 1, f of 1 is 1, and f of 1 fourth will be a square, f of 1 eighth will be a cube. So we get this uh, three important number, and also we can also find that uh, f of 1 over 56 should be a cube times f of 1 over 7 by simply substituting uh, y to be y to be uh, 1 7 1 over 14 1 over 28 then with this three equation we can uh, simply get this one so we can substitute uh, this one and this one into here so we have a 1 minus a over a times a cube times f of 1 over 7 plus f of 1a is uh, a cube. So a and a cube can be partly cancelled. So it is a, a square minus a cube multiplied by f of 1 over 7 plus a cube. So we can move this term over. We have a cube minus a square plus 1 or multiplied by f of 1 over 7 should be a cube. So we can find that f of 1 over 7 to be a cube over a cube minus a square plus 1. So maybe we will cons you will consider that this is the final solution, but actually it is not that case. Uh, originally, the equation tells you that a is uh, between 0 and 1, but actually not all the a can satisfy all the other conditions. So we really need to find um, what are the possible values for a, such that all the conditions can be satisfied. But yeah, so at this moment, we can just keep this in mind. So let's consider another function value like f of 7 over a. And we know that uh, 7 over a is 1 8 plus 1 fourth plus 1 half. So we can try to um, find it in uh, different ways like uh, we can use this one plus this one or this one plus this one with these two ways to find f of uh, 7 over a and it will come up with two different um, expression so let's see so yeah so of course we have our f of one half to be a 
f of one fourth to be a square, f of one eighth to be a cube. So, uh, using equation two, yeah, f of uh, using uh, equation two, uh, we can substitute s to be. Uh, one fourth and t to be one half. So on the left side we have a f of or uh, one fourth plus one half to be one minus a over a times f of one fourth plus f of one half. So we can simply substitute one minus a over a times a square plus a. So this one can be cancelled. So it is, uh, we can distribute a into here. So we have a minus a square plus a, which will be 2a minus a square. So this is uh, f of 1 fourth plus uh, 1 half. So, um, so in equation 2, we can substitute s to be 1 eighth and t to be uh, 1 fourth plus 1 half. So f of uh, 1 eighth plus uh, 1 fourth plus 1 half, which is of course uh, f of a 7 over 8, uh, which will be 1 minus a over a times uh, f of 1 eighth plus f of 1 fourth plus 1 half. So this one will be 1 minus a over a times a cube plus this one is uh, 2a minus a square. So this one and this one can be partly cancelled and we can distribute a square into here. So we have a square minus a cube plus 2a minus a cube. So uh, a square uh, and a square and a minus a square can be cancelled. So it is a uh, 2a minus a cube. So this is one of the expression for f of 7 over 8. And uh, yeah, so as long as we have this one, so we can use equation 1, f of y over 2 equals a times f of y. And uh, we can find f of 1 eighth plus 1 fourth by Factoring one half out, so we have f of one half multiplied by one fourth plus one half. So using equation one, we have a times f of one fourth plus one half. And it is this one, so we have a, a times two a minus a square, which is a two a square minus a cube. And uh, in equation two, we can use uh, s to be one eighth plus one fourth t to be one half. So we have f of uh, one eighth plus one fourth plus one half, which is of course uh, f of seven over eighth. And this one will be one over a, uh, one minus a over a times f of 1 eighth plus 1 fourth plus f of 1 half. So this one is 2a squared minus a cube. So it is like 1 minus a over a times, uh, actually we can factor a out, so we have a, a times 2a minus a squared, a and a can be cancelled, plus a. So we can uh, expand this one. So we have uh, we have two uh, a minus a square minus two uh, a square plus a cube plus a. So it will be three a minus three a square plus a cube. So we have another expression for uh, seven over eight, which means that these two expressions should equal each other. 
which means we have a 2a minus a cube will be 3a minus 3a squared plus a cube. And a is not 0, so we can cancel a. On both sides, we have a 2 minus a squared equals 3 minus 3a plus a squared. And we can move this term over. So we have a 2a squared minus 3a plus 1 to be 0. So we can factor this, uh, this expression. It is like a 2a minus 1 multiplied by a minus 1 to be 0, which means a is 1 half or a is 1. However, uh, from the original equation, a is strictly less than 1, which means a equals 1 should be rejected. And the only possible value for a should be 1 half. So finally, we can find f of 1 over 7 should be uh, a cube over a cube minus a squared plus 1 evaluate at a to be 1 half, which is uh, 1 eighth over 1 eighth minus 1 fourth plus 1. So this is uh, 1 eighth over 7 over 8, which is 1 seventh. Which means the final answer is f of 1 over 7 is 1 over 7. And this is the end of this video.